so we are back with another dose of statistical mechanics and uh, in our last class we were discussing a very famous paradox of physics called Gibbs paradox okay so the essential uh, paradox of gibbs was uh, something in the treatment of ideal gas যেখানে কি করা হয়েছিল দা গ্যাস ওয়াজ ট্রিটেড অর রাদার দা পার্টিশন ফাংশন ওয়াজ ইভ্যালুয়েটেড ইন দা ক্লাসিক্যাল অ্যাপ্রোচ যদিও এখানে ওয়ান ক্যান আর্গিউ দ্যাট কোথায় ক্লাসিক্যাল অ্যাপ্রোচ কেননা হোয়াইল পারফর্মিং দ্য ইন্টিগ্রেশন আমরা কি করলাম উই ইন্টিগ্রেটেড ওভার সার্টেন রিজিয়ন অফ phase space and then we divided it by h to the power 3n tar mane there we took into account that one microstate one microstate it is not a point rather it is a cell of volume h to the power f where f is degrees of freedom of the system so h to the power 3 n <coughs> therefore we are already taking into account the famous the famous heisenberg's uncertainty principle so um, so basically the treatment is a bit ki uh, bolbo it is a bit uh, mixed up treatment because on one hand we are using something like one microstate corresponds to a cell of volume h to the power f or h to the power 3n which is a which is a quantum mechanical property kintu just a constant factor ta bad dile this is a constant constant factor ta bad dile baki approach ta ami jodi dekhi tahole kintu it is definitely classical why because here we are incorporating energy which is something like this and we used interaction potential which was a function of this 
তবে ইট ইজ এ ফ্যাক্ট দ্যাট হিয়ার উই হ্যাভ অ্যাজিউমড ইউ ইকুয়াল টু জিরো বাট দিস ইজ অনলি আ স্পেশাল কেস আদারওয়াইজ আদারওয়াইজ ইন আওয়ার অরিজিনাল এক্সপ্রেশন ফর দ্য পার্টিশন ফাংশন দেয়ার উই টুক আ ক্লাসিক্যাল অ্যাপ্রোচ দেয়ার উই ইন আওয়ার অ্যাপ্রোচ দ্য এনার্জি ওয়াজ সাম ওভার পি স্কোয়ার বাই টু এম প্লাস ইউ অ্যান্ড লেটার ইউ ওয়াজ অ্যাজিউম টু বি জিরো এবং আরও একটা পয়েন্ট হচ্ছে উই আর পারফর্মিং আওয়ার ইন্টিগ্রেশন ওভার ডিফারেন্ট স্পেশিয়াল কোয়ার্ডিনেটস অ্যান্ড মোমেন্টাম কোয়ার্ডিনেটস এবং সেখানে উই আর ইন্টিগ্রেটিং ওভার স্পেশিয়াল কোয়ার্ডিনেটস ইন দিস ম্যানার রাইট অ্যান্ড উই আর ইন্টিগ্রেটিং ওভার মোমেন্টাম কোয়ার্ডিনেটস in this manner so this means there is simultaneous specification of ri and pi simultaneous specification of ri and pi which is definitely a classical approach tar mane ki amra dhore nichhi je our ideal gas it is some point like particles ebong each of them can be characterized by their position and momentum momentum <coughs> we are not thinking of our ideal gas to be consisting of wave like entities described by certain wave function psi r where the momentum can be determined by operating the gradient operator on the psi mujhe kal ki we are not taking this approach instead we are taking this approach therefore our treatment of the ideal gas is definitely classical it is classical okay but there are two important points to be noted is <coughs> yes our treatment was classical but we considered this factor which is something to do with quantum mechanical uncertainty and the next very important point is the indistinguishability tahole ki daralo tahole this is this classical treatment coupled with indistinguishability of gas molecules which is something more 
which is something qu closer to quantum mechanics or uh, quantum treatment. Jodiyo classical approach ho kotha kotha indistinguishability thoda hai. Kintu generally indistinguishability of gas atoms it is usually it falls under quantum treatment. <coughs> So, this is what this is where Gibbs paradox um, is this is where Gibbs paradox at all plays a role. So, it is all about the classical treatment of an ideal gas where we have to consider quantum mechanical indistinguishability of gas molecules. Shudurang monta kotha etai j this treatment is something semi classical. This is not 100 percent classical neither 100 percent classical and nor 100 percent quantum. Okay. Tal e dokumata jotil type treatment er for lay uh, so, finally, in this semi classical approach, we are getting our entropy to be something like this. E entropy expression tar after naam achha. There is a nice name to this equation, but uh, before introducing that name, I'd like to show you that this can be rewritten in uh, something a bit different form because the internal energy U of this gas can be written as n times 3 by 2 kt. So, kt is uh, 2u by 3n And uh, if we use this kt equal to 2u by 3n here, then what we will get is so let us see what we get here. So it is 3 by 2 log t and uh, 3 by 2 log k. So Now, in place of 3 by 2 log t plus 3 by 2 log k, we can write this and in place of k t, we will write This equation has a name and that name is C 
Sakur tetrod equation. So, Sakur tetrod equation is nothing but uh, an expression for entropy of a ideal gas which follows a uh, typically semi classical approach. That is classical or quantum. Actually, we have taken a quantum mechanical gas. Kintu we have used classical approach because we have specified R i and P i simultaneously. Kotha holo a amanda approach ta kokhun valid. What is the condition of validity? Adho ye approach ta valid ache kina tarata limit ache. So, what about validity of our calculation? Tokhuni <coughs> valid hobe approach ta jokhun the individual atoms having wave like nature with the Broglie wavelength lambda and they are special separation so okay so this is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda 4 and their special separation r1 r2 a so when the mean separation is so so large than mean the Broglie wavelength jokon igulo onekta they are much much far away their mean separation is much much larger than the mean the Broglie wavelength tokhon ki hobe <coughs> the wave like nature can be ignored and they can be considered as point like particles. So, this is an approximation valid only when this condition holds. point like particle, there is no wave nature. So, R and P can be considered simultaneously. Okay. Tell this is our condition of validity among what remains to be done is to evaluate lambda bar. It is easy to do because we know that the Broglie wavelength is h by p. This is it and p square by 2 m can be approximated as mean energy of a molecule and from equipartition theorem it is 3 by 2 kt we will show it in our next lecture mean the Broglie wavelength is of the order of h by root over 3 m k t and what about the mean separation the total volume 
of the gas okay that is of the order of or that is equal to n times n is the number of molecules n times r cube if we imagine that each molecule is at the center of a cube of side R bar. Hello. Therefore, the final condition for validity of classical treatment, theta ki number actually use kore chhi in deriving our Saku tetrode equation. So the final condition for validity is V by N cube root to be much much greater than H by root over 3 M K T. So this means high temperature and large volume and smaller number of total number of molecules clear so basically this means a small concentration high temperature and small concentration so concentration and temperature controls the limit where classical or quantum treatment can be valid. Even the same genista this can be calculated using quantum mechanical approach as well. Uh, maybe we will discuss about it sometimes later. So, thank you and see you in my next lecture.